Welcome to part 3 of Math Decent Carburetor Service. In this video, we will explain how to fix the carburetor properly onto the car, all the hose connections to the carburetor, and to tune the carburetor for optimum performance and fuel efficiency with reference to the service manual. Links for part 1 and part 2 videos are given in the description. As always, spares required are given in the description. So, hello and welcome to Bose Garage. Let's get into the video. So, we have already serviced the carburetor. Now, before installing it, there is one more insulator between the manifold and the carburetor. Here, there are two gaskets to be replaced and also check the condition of the insulator. After that, clean the gasket remains on the insulator and check for any cracks or anything on the insulator. If the insulator is found damaged, replace it with MGP, Marathi Genuine Part. Now let's clean the meeting surface. We have now cleaned the surface. Before cleaning the gasket remains on the manifold, be sure to close the openings with some cloth to prevent particles from entering the manifold. Be sure to remove the cloth on assembling the carburetor. This is the cleaned insulator. It is free of cracks, so we can reuse it. We need two gaskets over here. There is no need of gasket sealer or anything. If possible, use only MGP gaskets. Likewise, for the insulator also, use only MGP. A few aftermarket ones are available, but they have been problematic for the most part. In some cases, they have melted. Now let's install the carburetor. We have covered the carburetor inlet to prevent any entry of debris. Once again, check all linkages and make sure everything is functioning properly. Now let's install it onto the manifold. Let's install all the four mounting nuts that mount the carburetor onto the manifold. First, let's install the rear nuts as you have to lift the carburetor to do so. So the spanner we are using is a double sided 12mm one. To make it reach into the tight places, we have trimmed the sides a little bit so that we can properly tight the carburetor. And now let's tight the carburetor in a crisscross pattern. Before we do the connections on the carburetor, let's quickly see where the idle speed adjusting screw and the idle mixture adjusting screws are located. The screw beneath the idle up vacuum actuator is the idle speed adjusting screw. The idle mixture adjusting screw can be seen further down. The idle speed adjusting screw can be used to set the engine RPM and the idle mixture adjusting screw can be used to tune the engine. So we can connect all the hoses right now. Before that, one thing we should have said in the beginning that we forgot. Whenever you are working on your car, always remove the negative terminal connection to the battery. Only then start working on the engine or electrical side of the car. Now let's connect the hoses. As I already said, this is the depression chamber vacuum mechanism for secondary circuit which operates on high speed, high load condition. The hose for that goes over here. Also check the condition of the hose. This is the vacuum mechanism for the choke. The hose goes over here. This is the connection to the air filter. We can connect it later. This is the connection for the hot restart system. We didn't disconnect the hose, so it's there. Then this connection to the acceleration pump circuit. There is a connection coming from beneath the carburetor. Let's connect it. Also check the hoses for any damage. This is the fuel inlet hose coming from the fuel tank. This is the fuel return line for the excess fuel to return to the tank. Then there is the AC idle up vacuum actuator. There is a vacuum modulator to it. The connection from the modulator is to be given to the AC idle up vacuum actuator. Then there is a connection for the purge system to be given to the lower half of the carburetor. 
there is a connection on this side for the distributor advance mechanism. Do take a photograph for all the connections, otherwise it would be very much confusing to reconnect. There is an electrical connection for the fuel cutoff solenoid. Let's connect that. Now that's done. Now let's connect the choke and accelerator cables. Before connecting the choke cable, we should pull the choke lever from inside to about 7-8 mm, only after which the cable should be connected. After connecting, verify that the choke butterfly is properly opening and closing. Before tightening this nut, once again, check that the choke is working properly. Now let's tighten it. Now let's connect the accelerator cable. Before adjusting the slack for the accelerator cable, make sure that the cable is not pulling the accelerator linkage on the carburetor. There should be some amount of play on the cable. Tighten the cable only in the position it's found to be free. After that, check its functioning by depressing the accelerator pedal. Later when you start the car, if the engine RPM is too high, we may need to adjust the accelerator play again. Now let's connect the air filter. So now that all the carburetor connections are done, we can place a rubber gasket over here. And now let's fix the air filter. Before that, let's understand the purpose of this hose under the air filter. This particular hose connects the valve inside the air filter and the inlet manifold. This valve is called a hot idle compensator. Inside this valve, there is a bimetallic strip. As we know, when the bimetallic strip heats up, it bends. So as the engine heats up above 45 degrees Celsius, the bimetallic strip starts to bend, which opens this valve. The valve is completely open when the engine reaches hot condition. That's around 65 degrees Celsius. At that time, air from the air cleaner directly enters the manifold via the hose we already mentioned. Now why is this arrangement provided? You see, when the engine is hot, the air fuel mixture will be rich, which may cause an erratic idling. So to maintain the correct air fuel ratio, by introducing cold air into the manifold, hence maintaining a stable idling RPM, this system is provided. So never forget to connect this hose. Also check the condition of the hose, check for cracks. Now let's connect the hose and assemble the air filter assembly. Also when you are assembling, check the air filter. Change it periodically according to the owner's manual. If it's not time to replace it, blow air inside out and assemble it. As we said earlier, the hose from the EGR valve is damaged, luckily MGP is still available. So let's install the new one itself. Ok now let's start the car. Before that, as I have already said, we have two adjustments over here. One is the idle speed adjusting screw and the other is the idle mixer adjusting screw. Let's first dial in the idle mixer adjusting screw by fully closing it clockwise and then turning it anti-clockwise by one and a half turns. It would be easy to use a short reach flatted screwdriver like this because uh, adjustments by hand are almost impossible with the presence of the air filter. So let's fully close it. Now that it's completely tight, let's open it by one and a half turns and clockwise. Now that it's almost one and a half turns anti clockwise, let's try to start the car. Pull the choke completely. We may have to adjust the RPM. So to adjust the RPM, we need a tag meter as the car doesn't have one. This is a tack meter suitable for 4 cylinder, 8 cylinder and 6 cylinder engines. It's a dual tack meter. So readings for 4 cylinder should be read in the 8 cylinder readings. That is the RPM shown for 8 cylinder multiplied by 100 
multiplied by 2 will give the RPM for four cylinder engines. So let's connect it first. The black terminal goes to the negative of the ignition coil and the red terminal goes to the positive of the ignition coil. So let's start the car again. Anyway, the RPM was a bit low. Let's increase it by adjusting the idle speed adjusting screw. So in this condition, the engine should be warmed up. Before that, let's set the idling RPM. So on the tack meter, the needle points between 4 and 5, uh, which is approximately 900 RPM. Now let's keep the engine idling until it reaches operating temperature. Now that the engine has reached operating temperature, we just turned it off. In the meantime, let's explain the tuning procedure. As per service manual, it is suggested that we check the idle mixture concentrations by turning the idle mixture adjusting screw with the help of an exhaust gas analyzer. Currently we don't have that kind of equipment. So they have also provided an alternate procedure. The procedure is as follows. First set the RPM to 900 using the idle speed adjusting screw. Turn the idle mixture adjusting screw clockwise or anti-clockwise till you obtain the highest RPM. After that, come back to the idle speed adjusting screw and set the RPM to 900. Repeat this procedure once more. That will be the final tuning and then you can take the car for a test drive and check for any missing or anything. So let's see how it's done. So the engine is now at idling RPM. Let's now adjust the idle mixture adjusting screw. After opening the idle mixture adjusting screw, we can see that the RPM has increased. Now using the idle speed adjusting screw, let's decrease the RPM back to 900. So the idle speed has now come back to 900 RPM. As said earlier, let's now throttle the idle mixture adjusting screw once more. Again at one position, the RPM has increased. So using the idle speed adjusting screw, 
let's set the idle speed back to 900 rpm now that the idle speed is set to 900 rpm let's take the car for a test drive so we hope that you liked our video we, you watched all the parts and we hope it was really informative to you and if there is some information that was missing or you have some additional clarification uh, do comment below our video or you can always reach out to us, to us on our email, email id bosgarajisnow at gmail.com we are always there to help you out we are more than happy to help actually that is a primary function of this channel itself we would helping like others to was help a primary motive for this yes, channel yes helping others and sharing the knowledge which we earned with everyone else like minded people yeah yeah so do like our video do share it with uh, fellow enthusiasts and thanks for watching bos garage see you soon see you.